Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In the previous video, we covered the prerequisites of the weather app, and now in this video, we will cover retrofit. So now let's create it. The topic is kind of tricky, but I'll try my best to make it as simple as possible. So now let's go step by step. So the first thing is what is an API? It stands for Application Programming Interface. There are many types of API such as Weather API, News API, Maps API and others. It is basically connecting two softwares. The one that we are creating and the other is provided by a company. For us, it's Open Weather Map API. It gives us real-time responses. So in our case, we are using this current weather data. You can click on the API doc and read it. We are taking the city name from the user and providing the current weather data of that particular city. Here is an exact example of it. See, we have different parameters such as Q is referred to city name, then app ID is the API key and many more. Let's try it. See, till here is our base URL and then from here the parameters and this is our endpoint. We will be using Q and App ID. So write the city name Delhi and your API key. This is what the response looks like. So whatever API gives us, in the technical language, it is called a response. The response is in JSON format, which is not readable. Hence, I'll use a JSON formatter website to make it readable. Better, right? Now focus. In JSON syntax, we have keys, values and object. Anything that is inside two curly braces is an object. Then all of these are keys and all of these are values. There are so many keys. Of course, we are not going to use all of them. We will only use four of them. City name, temperature, humidity and description. If you want, you can use other key values as well. Now see. The city name is present inside these brackets. The description is present inside the weather object. And temperature and humidity are present inside the main object. Now see how we write this. Come back to Android Studio. Create a data class. Name it weather response. And done. Now inside this data class, I will write a name whose data type is string. This is our city name. Also, please keep the key name as it is. Next, we will add temperature and humidity. But we cannot directly add them because they are present inside the main object. Hence, create a separate data class main. And then inside it, write temp, whose data type is float, and humidity, whose data type is int. And now, write main here. Similarly, description is present inside the weather object, hence creating a separate data class, weather. And inside it, description, whose data type is string. And now write weather here inside weather response. But we will use data type as a list of weather. Why? Because there could be multiple descriptions like rainy, comma, drizzle or broken clouds, anything. And with that said, weather response class is ready. Next, we will create a weather API interface. And uh, this is mostly syntax only. This is where we request the data from API. To request, we use at the rate get with an endpoint. What is an endpoint? This is our URL. Till here, base URL. Then this weather is an endpoint. And these are parameters. Hence, write endpoint weather. 
then create a suspend function get weather this function will fetch the weather data and it is marked with suspend because it performs a network request and should be called from a coroutine got it then inside it we need to mention the parameters so write at the rate query q which is a city value whose data type is string then app id which is our api key and then unit is temperature measurement which is metric means celsius this is a request to api and in return it will give us a response that is weather response which we created then create a companion object and inside it create a base url variable and done then create a function create weather api this function creates and configures a retrofit instance to interact with the open weather map api then start building the retrofit instance write add converter factory json converter factory dot create this configures retrofit to use json converter for json serialization and deserialization then set the base url for the api endpoints and then build lastly return the retrofit instance to create an implementation of the weather api and that's it now as we are using view model so obviously we will be required to create a separate class for view model and then here extend the view model and inside it let me write the code first and then i'll explain and then now see this defines a mutable state flow named underscore weather data which is initialized with null then state flow is a state holder that emits a current and subsequent state updates to its collectors here it holds instances of weather response 
then this initializes an instance of weather API using the create function. This is used to make API requests to fetch weather data. Then create a function fetch weather with two parameters city and API key. Then inside it view model scope dot launch will execute a coroutine. And inside that coroutine, this will call the get weather function from the weather API interface to fetch weather data for the specified parameters that is city and API key. Then this will update weather data with the fetched response. Basically, it will trigger the state flow to emit a new value that notifies the UI about the updated weather data. And lastly, catch any exceptions that might occur during the API call. And that's it. Our retrofit is ready. In the next and the final video, we will design the UI in Jetpack Compose. So stay tuned for that. For now, that is it for the video. If you are new to this channel, then please consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.